Hey guys, Baxter here. I'm doing a review on the P90 TRSE, and this is actually, uh, I would say as of right now, probably my favorite SMG in the game. Every time I pick it up, it's just, oh, I just own so many people with it. It has amazing accuracy. Um, regardless of what the stats say, regardless of what how it compares to other SMGs, this gun just has an amazing capability to tap fire and just get headshots from far away and just it just has such good spread and accuracy and recoil. Um, I just simply love this SMG, it's so good. Um, so anyways, this review is actually a little bit different from most of my other ones because um, there will be several games in here, maybe four or five different games, I'm not sure. Um, this first game is in Pumchak and it's against a clan, I actually forget the clan's name, a uh, decent clan I guess, they've got like a lieutenant colonel in there somewhere, or something. I think I just killed him actually. Anyway, the clan's really good and I ended up finishing the game with a uh, pretty decent score, I think it's like 80, or 80, <laughs> 25 and 8, or 25 and 7 or something, when I leave the game, uh, because actually this is the last game I recorded and I'm showing you now because um, I was kicked out of all the other games I played tonight. Um, I've been kicked out of... It's hilarious. When I don't play on Backstar, and if I play on my alt account, um, it's extremely, extremely, extremely hard for me to finish a game, even if I don't try very hard. I just play very casually. I always get kicked, always get called the chammer. And, yeah, so it kind of sucks, actually. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, so I finished this game. Actually, I think every single person on my team is negative by a lot. Like I think everyone's KDR is under 0 0.5 by the end of the time by the end of the game I leave, which is quite funny. But anyways, um yeah, so I play it in Pump Jack and I like I said I really 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 like this SMG. It has amazing accuracy. Um it's just so good. I'll I'll tell you guys the stats right now. Um I really stats don't mean too much to me. Um, really, D even things like damage and recoil, like important stats you guys would really think about, like accuracy, it really is um, kind of abstract a little bit. It's just, obviously the damage isn't, or or the accuracy or anything like that, but the recoil is definitely abstract, the, the numbers they give us, because it doesn't account for... Um, it doesn't account for recoil pattern. It doesn't account for spread, spread per shot, the rate at which the spread uh, increases in full auto, um, and those things are just some of the some of the things in the the magnitude of the recoil itself, how much it kicks your gun back. Um, but anyways, that's all irrelevant. I want to talk about the P90TR SE. Um, like I said, amazing SMG, definitely my favorite in the game as of now. It's just, it's so good. It always has been up there. And if you get a P90TR, it's pretty much exactly the same, except the P90TR has one less uh, one less damage, and it also has a 50-50 ammo capacity uh, magazine, uh, while the M or P90TRSE has a 50-100, which is way better, and it lasts so long. Anyways, so the P90TRSE has a 36 power, a 73 portability, an 82 rate of fire, a 67 accuracy, and 72 point recoil. And actually, if you take a look at these stats and you compare them with other SMGs, the gun is fairly average or actually on the weaker side of SMGs pretty much in a bunch of uh, different areas. But that doesn't matter because as long as you aim properly, it's just the recoil pattern on this SMG is so damn good that it just stays where you want it to stay. I just can't explain it. You'll have to use the gun for yourself. Pick up a P90TR if you can. Buy it for a day even. I don't know. It's like 900NX or something. Um, and it's so great. I can't really say the same thing for the P90, the GP version. Although that is a pretty decent SMG. I haven't used it in a while. so. And um, yeah, anyway. Another really, really great thing about this SMG is its silencer. My favorite silencer in the game right now. It's it's so quiet and it just sounds amazing when you're just slaughtering people. Um, yeah, <laughs> this SMG is just really good. <sighs> I don't really don't know what else much to talk about. I have an uh, iTech scope actually attached to this, and I wouldn't pr preferably put an iTech on it. I definitely put an ACOG on it for tap firing far away. Um, Definite, definitely, definitely recommended you put an ACOG and not an ITEC on it. 
Uh, I think it looks cooler with an iTech, but ACOG is more useful. Anyway, so obviously I'm not playing um, on Backstar because I don't have this gun, which is why I'm on another account, Poning Noobs. But um, I really don't know much else much to talk about really about this gun. Um, this review is fairly fairly long. It's not long actually. Everything's in a bunch of little parts. I keep I keep it entertaining so. <laughs> so you don't get bored. I know a lot of people want to see longer reviews since I don't release as much and more gameplay and stuff like that so I'm trying to do that here. I actually show um, a couple of games where I get kicked because I wasn't recording every single game but um, I mean like I get kicked a lot and within like the first minute of the game joining all I have to do even if I play with the elite moderator I'll get kicked uh, just I don't know why. Anyway, um, invoke kick too. Doesn't even matter if I play elite rooms or not. I just get invoke kicked. Honestly, I, I wouldn't know what I would do if uh, if people didn't know of me. So when I went in games, I would have some kind of defense of people saying, "Why are you kicking him? I know who he is." Blah blah blah. blah. Because honestly, if I were to be playing now and no one knew me, oh god, I have no idea how I'd play this game. Uh, I definitely wouldn't. So, anyways, this is the end of this. Um, that gameplay footage. I think I went, like I said, 25 and 7 or 25 and 8, something like that. I did pretty decently. And um, I'm actually going to give you guys some more tips on how to use the P90TR uh, as I go through several of these other uh, gameplay videos. Um, the greatest advantage to the P90TR SE, the reason why I like it so much, is that it is so easy to get headshots. Um, the gun fires right in the middle of its spread, and it's so good. Like, the spread stays small. I know you can't see it on my screen because I have fraps on low quality, and thus the crosshair doesn't show up, which is actually really annoying because a lot of time I'd like to show you guys what the crosshair looks like. But, um, yeah, actually, I think I get kicked already. I think it's coming up after I kill this guy with the pistol, yeah. So uh, I get kicked out of that game, and then I go into another short fuse game in which I get kicked later. Anyways... Here's some tips for shooting people in the face with any SMG, not just the P90. Um, any P90 works good, by the way. Any SMG works good. High recoil SMGs are a little hard, harder, but that doesn't matter. Actually, SMGs such as like the MP5, really great for spraying at the face. Um, and these are all in the Bravo server, by the way. Obviously, I wouldn't do a review in a different server because, like Papa, because that would defeat the purpose of a review. And I'd be showing you the recoil and spread in a different server with lower spread, so that doesn't work out, does it? And there you go, I get kicked again. And then I play in another pump jack game, actually. This is the originally the first game I tried to get rolling. I had neutral try and help me get the game going as an elite in Bravo 1, I believe. And I, I, I actually don't show all the footage in this game. I actually have the full recorded thing, and it's like... 15 minutes longer longer of just three on three or four on three so it's really boring so i'm only going to show you a little bit of it and uh this is actually the last clip for the gameplay stuff and i have some bonus footage after the shout outs which actually aren't too long i think the shout outs are only maybe a minute two minutes long at tops but um obviously because i haven't done them in a while but um yeah, so tips for shooting people in the head. Keep your crosshair and keep your aim really high. And try not to overspray. Um, you can spray as much as you want, I guess, if you're playing in the Papa server, because your spread is going to stay low regardless. But in the Bravo server and Alpha server, you want to you want to tap a little bit. Tap fast and do a little burst of spray with the P90TR. And just keep, keep your aim up high and spray it right across someone's face. And if you hear someone... Um, turning a corner, if you hear someone around a wall, just pre-fire. Pre-fire around the corner, hit them in the face, and they will call you a chammer, and you'll laugh, and then you'll get kicked, maybe. <laughs> Which is what usually happens to me. Anyway, um, I don't really don't know what much else to say, actually, about the P90TR. Aim for the head, that's the biggest advantage this gun has over any other gun in, SM in any other SMG. You can do it with any other SMG, but I prefer it with the P90TR, because it's quiet, low spread, and yeah, works good. Anyway, so this is the end of this footage, actually. Um, I actually... kind of sucks I didn't put it in here, because I didn't want to make this video too long, but I have some really good footage of me uh, actually pre-firing around a corner really hard, like one or two seconds before. 
um, getting a, several headshots in this game. But um, whatever, it doesn't have to be put in, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so this is the end of this gameplay video, and I ho really hope you enjoyed this review. It's um, got a lot of gameplay footage in it, and I've got some bonus bonus stuff at the end of the, the shoutouts, so wait for that. Hey guys, Baxa here. Just a uh, quick few shoutouts, and I want to thank everyone who gifted me a Cyclops bandana or machete or custom reticle and any of that one-day stuff that happened a while ago, because that's really awesome, and all those stuff is actually really good. I'd like to thank BrandDRF for the 40% bonus experience passes, the 50 of them. Uh, I'd like to thank Buzz4342 for 30-day subsonic. Yes, I'm going to pwn so many noobs with those. I don't want to shout out anyone who gave me a respawn token, because it's going to take way too long, as long along with the one-day stuff. Uh, that I mentioned to everyone else. I have a GP uh, hazard kit from Whiskey22. 1,000 GP, the lowest you can get. Awesome. 50 more bonus experience passes from Baller, Baller Playa. Thank you very much. Scrolling up here. I have a 30-day Cyclops banana from Soap. M-A-C-T-A-99. Thank you so, so, so much. And this is what I really want to start opening in the missed end cases. So thank you, uh, Reincarnate. What do I get? An m 243 land for seven days. That's actually a really boss and like rifle. Um, oh no, no, scroll down a little bit here, let's see, kill you kill, another missed end, wreck seven rangers for seven days, awesome, I actually really don't want to open all of these, but uh, they don't get activated, so that's good, SG 556 camo for a day, also really good, ducky 224, uh, I don't really like that machine gun, that's okay, it's actually a good machine gun, I just I don't like MGs very much. R870 MCS mod. Sick. I actually never tried that shotgun. It looks pretty interesting. I don't know why there's a scope on it, but there is. I'll try it out someday. I have a missed end here from Legitness. An M60 E4 seal for a day. That's like the most boss like machine gun in the game. It's so good. I picked it up once. It's like amazing. Cookies for the win with another missed end case with an MP5 or Acid Tyrion for a day. Nice. Scroll up a bit here. All right, and that's actually all the missed end cases. Thank you, everyone who gifted me something. Thank you, thank you so, so, so much, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, oh, comes up. Ready, guys? Let's or... do this. Leroy Jenkins!